Hello, my name is Joe Del Giudice, and I'm the Chief Investigator for the Riverside County District Attorney's Bureau of Investigation. The Bureau provides a wide range of professional law enforcement services to help keep the residents and visitors of Riverside County safe. This video is intended to inform you of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on October 14, 2022, in connection with the Gang Impact Team. The Gang Impact Team, otherwise known as GIT, is a multi-agency task force led by the DA's Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 7.40 a.m., Desert Hot Springs Police Department responded to a report of a shooting in the 13,500 block of Mountain View Road. They arrived to find an adult male victim suffering from a gunshot wound. Unfortunately, the victim died as a result of his injuries. As the primary investigating agency, Desert Hot Springs Police Department identified 42-year-old Oscar Ernesto Conis of Desert Hot Springs as the homicide suspect. Later that day, Git helped DHSPD locate Conis in the city of Sky Valley, California. Knowing the suspect was likely still armed and a considerable risk to the public, Git performed a vehicle takedown as Conis turned on to a dirt road. This tactic is used when apprehending a violent criminal who is considered dangerous. Conis, the sole occupant of his vehicle, remained non-compliant with commands to show his hands and exit the vehicle. One Git member expended two 40mm less lethal projectiles. The first projectile struck the driver's side door and the second projectile shattered the rear driver's side window. Conis made movements consistent with reaching for a firearm and one Git member discharged a single round from his service weapon, striking Conis in the left arm. Now we will show you footage of the incident as it was captured on Git members' dashboard and body camera footage. Beware that some viewers may find the video disturbing. It is not suitable for young or sensitive viewers. Yeah, somebody needs to get in front of him like ASAP. Light him up, Nick. Hands up! Hands up! Hey. He's reaching! Nick, let me 40, see your hands! 40. See your hands! Hands! A shot! Shot fired! Shot fired! Take off your seatbelt! Take your seatbelt off. Right. Minus Ariba. Okay, he's got a graze wound, left arm. Somebody get gloved up for cuffs. Manos Ariba, senor! Okay. Turn around away from me. Gun just fell out of the waistband. Out of the waistband. Do not Don't not the reach waistband. for it. Upon being wounded, Connus became compliant and was taken into custody. As seen in the body camera footage, a handgun had fallen to the ground from the area of Connus' waistband as he exited the vehicle. The handgun was processed and determined to be loaded with a live round in the chamber. Once in custody, Git members gave Connus immediate medical assistance until medical personnel arrived. Connus was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. After medical clearance, Connus was booked into the John Benoit Detention Center in Indio, California. This is an active, ongoing investigation. Connus remains in custody without bail awaiting preliminary hearing. When we have an officer-involved shooting, multiple investigations are automatically launched. The multi-agency force investigation detail, led by the Sheriff's Department, will conduct this inquiry. This investigation will examine the initial response of the task force, Connus's actions, as well as the officer-involved shooting. The District Attorney's Office normally reviews officer-involved shootings. However, because our investigators were involved in this incident, it will be reviewed by the California Attorney General's Office. Our department will internally evaluate the actions of GIT with our policy and training standards. The Riverside County District Attorney's Office takes each use of force very seriously and we make every effort to de-escalate these situations whenever possible. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident video.